guys, so um, what you're going to need is a deflated soccer ball. Pretty deflated. Like popped soccer ball. In this case, my dog Weasel ate it. That's his name. Weasel. And you're going to need some pants. Make sure they're not nice pants. You don't want to use your nice pants. No, you don't. Because you're never going to get them back. So, just just long pants. That, in my case, crappy pants. And then some duct tape, a roll of duct tape. Um, cleats. pair of shin guards. Well, they don't really have to be cleats, actually. I mean, they can just be they can, like they boots, can, just uh, yeah. sturdy shoes. I mean, I, I guess really shoes is all you need. Then another pair of shin guards. Two elastic straps with like Velcro and crap. Got it. So yeah, we got it pretty much halfway. It's, it's kind of. You weird. can see this is nice material in here. Yeah. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, this it's is kind of rubbery. Protection. There's like a little rubber thing that held in the air, and then you have this nice sort of a uh, hard canvas. Yeah. Padded. But like when you're when you're cutting this, don't get a big knife because you can really hurt yourself. Yeah, usually, I mean, and don't use like crappy scissors. That'll, that'll just make it way harder than it should be. You know, just like yeah, like just get chicken sh kitchen sc scissors. I mean, if you're good with knives, I guess if, you can. If you can't do it, just it. if you just get your parents to do it. Well, something tells me their parents wouldn't really want to <laughs> cut open their soccer ball. Cool. <laughs> oh well. Oh, this is for the good of our community. Protecting children. Cherry. You're so good, Henry. You're so good. We're just we're the freaking charity Jews. Freaking freaking Asian Jews. Wait, what? Freaking Asian Jews. Asian Jews? Asian freaking Jews. Do you even know what that is? Jewish Asian people? <laughs> God, Max. Okay, Jew. Jewish is a religion, and people and Asians are people from Asia. Okay, all right, guys. We've cut it in half. You see, this part is empty, and this and then part this part has that rubber stuff. You're gonna need to rip it out of the ball so they're both empty. The rubber stuff. Like I mean, that. the rubber stuff. It's it's like I I'm sure we'll find it's, a use for it. But good, but like. This stuff is far more important, and I mean, if you really needed to, you could probably wear it as a cap. Damn, I still wish. And then you take the rubber, kind of like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, these will have to be used equally. Well, well that's ugly right there. I don't want to cut these in half. Again, again, yeah. You should, you should actually probably put them like inside each other. No, that would make it way too hard. Yeah, here yeah, I'll cut the first one. Yeah. Right. You just wanna just cut it right in half, just like through the center. They don't have to be clean cuts. I mean, you should probably get a bigger soccer ball. Actually, depending on how, well, depending on how big you are. Well, actually, you know, I mean, any basic soccer ball like, is going to give if, you if enough in a, padding. Like, I mean, this is just, like, this right here is still probably going to have to be cut down. Well, if no. you're in a league. Like, this is probably enough, maybe. If you were in a league, just Put use a soccer ball that you would have used in a league. That you, you would use in a league. That, well, I mean, you don't really want to use your nice soccer ball. That doesn't work. Um, well, it, yeah. I think we're going to have to cut it one more time. Uh, that one. Okay, well, no, we didn't cut no, these. We're gonna, we're gonna cut these sharp edges off. Uh, yeah, just to make them smaller. And this one should probably just be this one right here. This is a little too big. I mean, just a little bit. Just for our size. Probably just gonna cut it a little bit like that when he's done with the scissors. 
See, now, 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 that now, actually, now that's that's actually to kind of like a knee guard. Cool. Yeah. And, like, I mean, you pro might be wondering why don't you just buy knee guards? They're it's pretty because, expensive. Well, not only that, but, you know, a lot it's of times they're... It's kind of fun to make them, too. These are a lot more flexible. Anyways, these are kind of fun to make. Just saying. Alright, okay. So, this is probably a good size for us. Oh, this rips really easily, so, like, just be careful. Yeah. Don't screw it. But, uh, again, we don't, we're not going to be able to, we're not going to be using that rubber a lot. There's going to be a part, like, right here. Like, as you can see, it kind of is a bump. So, you're gonna just going to need to cut around. All right, wait, wait. Okay, see? So you're just going to need to... Are the two knee pads cut around? Here are the two knee pads finished. See how it will fit on your and knee. And that comes out. You're not going to need that. Throw but don't away. worry, you're not going to be taping these on your knees. You're actually going to be putting these on the pants. Then you and got that. Yeah. So now we have the knee pads done, and we still have these scraps, which will be useful because if you have like, oh, wait, you can just take the other half too. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. Well, actually, wait, no, 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 we already have our knee guards. Yeah. We, we, we should, should use them as shoe Helmet! Guards. Helmet! Yes! Max, this should be our helmet. Yes. Okay. We're going to have to duct tape it inside. I know. Yes, yeah, so the other half of soccer ball will be your stylish helmet. We Don't worry, this is Gucci approved, so you can definitely wear this out outside of your house. Yes. <laughs> All right. Totally works. Mm -hmm. Never falls off. All right, so now you have <laughs> false advertisement, bro. So false okay. advertisement. Uh, yeah. Um, here I'm gonna hold this up, and can you like put the knee pads to them? So the pants would be held up, and then the knee guards would go like right there, and, and you then, see how they would kind of work. And then so what else you're gonna like stand up? And then you right can also put like these that. straps just right there, and or something like and that. Then you can use rubber. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Er. Oh, so I'm just going to be holding these shin guards the whole time. I'm just going to be, you know, you know, they're foam and stuff. Oh, and that guy over there, I think he's going to stab his eye with a soccer ball. Oh, called it. Yeah, I called it. Oh, yeah. These foam shin guards, they're very nice. I'm just going to be waving them around all the time. I don't understand why that guy put that thing back on. He just stabbed his eye with it. But anyways, I'm just going to be showing you these shin guards the whole time. Very nice shin guards. Very, very nice shin guards. I'm just going to be showing you. I, you know, you know, these are different shin guards, and they're smaller. And these are my green bean shin guards. And, you know, they're smaller, but they're still cool. They're still good. And this is duct tape. I just found some duct tape, so I'm going to play with it for a minute. You know, it's a cool duct tape. It's a camo and stuff. I'm just going to be, you know, waving it around. Throwing it up in the air a little bit, playing with it. What I'm gonna do next is uh, this is an important step. You're gonna wanna have, you're gonna wanna put the, uh, you're gonna wanna put these on. Um, so, and so I'm gonna put these on Max here. That way we'll know exactly where to put the um, your kneecaps, your shin guards, and um, your extra armor. So um. That's what we'll do now. See, I now have Max in um, the pants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this might not work, but I'm just going to see if I can like mark exactly where I want to put the knee pads. So definitely right here. So here, move. Yep, that'll be good. So here, take them off. Can you see that? No. Well, no. Yeah, well, you can't do it. It's a pencil. Okay. Try it. Okay. So, yeah, works better than the freaking. Yeah. Okay. So it it's not working very well here, Benjamin. I know, no. So, and then we'll just use pencil to mark. Then um, then we'll put the kneecaps on.
let's get to uh, duct taping these pants. Yeah. Oh, God, don't put the straps on the carpet. Sticks. Right. Not easy to get off. And this is sort of what it's going to look like. This is what the first like. one's looking like. Um, here's front, here's back. And as you can see, it's hard. It it's hard. Hard. Okay, now let's show the ultimate. All right, here it is. After we did front and back on the first knee pad, front and back, back, and it's it's pretty sturdy. It's working well. It's nice. All right, next one. Okay, yay! Yeah. Okay. okay. This is back. And this is back. Back. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the smaller shin guards. Well, actually, uh, we have smaller, but if you only have one pair of shin guards, then just it's okay, just put it at the shin, and don't worry about the thigh. But, so, um, we're going to use these smaller, we're going to use the smaller ones for the shins. So, just put them there on the shins, like that. Like that. Okay, so um, you put them there like that, then you just strap them down, like we did on these. So what we've done here is we've taped on those small shin guards, and I'm going to be showing you the finished airsoft armor for the legs, but the whole set that we've made over time. Let's go. Oh! He's fully ready. I mean, it may not look pretty, but it'll get the job done. He is finished and everything. So as you can see, here are the pants that we just showed you. Um, if you could kneel down for us. Um, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Watch. Okay, see, now kneel back up. Get back up. See, look. It's Everything's great. So, no, and, you know, it may, it may not be the best. Okay, 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 it may not be the best, but it's going to get the job done. It's got nice padding, and, you know, it'll, it'll protect you. And then right here, and this, this right here, oh, my God, this is I, amazing. I can't even feel the shot. Here, 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 here. So, I, it doesn't look that far, but, like, if you look up here. There's, like, foam here. and crap. There's, like, there's, like, there's like six layers of duct tape here, and foam and crap. Like, you can see there's foam right there. There's like 
lots of looks, like four rolls of duct tape. There's even a shirt on the inside for, um, like, comfy. Yeah. And, you know, you have the helmet, which isn't the best, and you got your airsoft gun, and it top it off with, with a light. light. And, okay, guys, I'm gonna admit, not everyone's, not everyone's grandparents are as epic as Max's, so you might not have a riot shield to go with the costume, but in this case, we do, and... Well, it makes it look a lot better, and as you can see, he, I would get wrecked right now in a war. Like, I mean, I can't even hit him, and that light is very annoying. Even if you punch it. I mean, I don't really want to punch it, just yeah. in case, like, yeah. just a... That would hurt. If you, like, punched it, you're not going to hurt. Yeah, and then, as you can see, it will, he would have cleats on, not these wretched J's, but he would have these cleats on, oh. and... <laughs> And, um, okay, and okay, as you can see, you know, you have good. Look at this. I mean, this is a nice board. And, yeah. And then the helmet has straps on the top to keep it on. Those are the little things from the chin guards. All right, Max, pose for us. All right, there you go. Right shield in front, like that. So... Now, I'm, I'm just saying, not everyone's going to have a right shield. Probably no one is going to have a right shield in an airsoft war. But hey, this armor... At any, our age. At our age. Yeah, this armor, anyone can make. I mean, all you need is like... Well, okay, well, let's think. You had an old shirt, um, old soccer gear, or just pads. It wasn't even that hard to make a right foam, shield, but I and did put a leather strap. We just made those pants right there in about, like, what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes. And then that shirt took about like three days. Okay, well that. But I, I well, that put a well, lot of work into that. Yeah, and it was three like days seven, straight. It was like an hour every day, maybe thirty yeah, minutes. Yeah, like like twenty minutes a day because I, I did like a layer every day. And as you can see, yeah, this is a yeah. So, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like. We're just now starting. Um, Comment. We don't really care if you say mean things. We just want you to comment. And view as many times as you want. All right. Thank you. Oh, and before I forget, we will be showing a um, airsoft war with all this gear in our backyards, so you guys can see the uh, efficiency. And we uh, will be posting it soon. And it well, it won't really be a war. It'll just be like a test of like the durability and like well i'll like shoot him from a distance and see what happens all right thank you so much subscribe like and from goose productions peace Bye. out butler and henry worth and, and this, this is from goose productions, goose productions.